now running. Alright. Well everyone, this is my effort to build the Lorenz chaotic water wheel. Threw it together this morning. As you can see, it's based on a bicycle wheel. Nothing special about it. I zip stripped some pencils onto it. Twelve of them in total. Ten can uh, pop cans here that have been attached, also zip stripped in place. Uh, the each one of these cans is free to rotate nicely on each of the pencils, and so they pivot, much like a uh, a Ferris wheel setup would do. And that's the nature of this. Right now, I've got water dribbling in. Obviously, I can adjust the speed of the water at the tap. Water fills in at the top. If anyone's wondering, there's this uh, uh, elbow here. Is downspout elbow is used to make sure that any water, like in this case, that's going down doesn't fill lower cans. The only place the filling should be happening is in the top can. And uh, again, I've set the level of the water the filling rate at a certain speed. These cans also have holes in the bottom. All over the side, so that they kind of drip over the side. cross over to the other direction. At any one moment, the moment you can sort of predict what it'll do next, but like what it'll be doing five minutes from now, forget it. You wouldn't be able to predict which direction it's going. Uh, Is the wind playing a factor? The wind could be a factor. It, uh, not a huge factor in this case, but the pouring, it's only got a couple inches to fall before it gets into the can. If anything, the wind is doing, uh, doing us a service by making sure the, uh, the water gets blown away. Other setups I've seen have got have little, little hoses on the side that really, really brought the to an extreme that it's necessary. As you can see, at this level, it's rocking back and forth and demonstrating the chaotic behavior. Three minutes and 52 seconds. Okay. So, at that speed, we have chaotic behavior. It's got a fresh run now because everything had a chance to drain. And just to verify that it's still doing it, we've got to let it run a little bit. At least let it watch it reverse direction at least once. Now, now the wind kicks in. <laughs> now the wind kicks it, well, in. Wind isn't a factor. Now oh, there you reverse. Yeah, you see, it's it's still doing its thing like it's supposed to. Now I'm going to adjust the flow rate. I'm going to make it go a little faster. You can do that again. Anyone ever wants to do this is that the 
the hole I punched in the bottom, in the sides of these cans was done with your regular carpenters. I don't know what these are, 16 penny or I don't yeah. know. Like, 16 penny, yeah. The nomenclature of these, but these are used usually for uh, the only two by fours together. Now this setup as it is right now, is it stable? seems to speed up and slow down a little. But at this time, I, it should be pretty obvious that it's not really hitting to uh, try to go the other direction. Probably measure this water Not emptying. Yeah. <laughs> Although it is starting to change. I just think it's not as regular. There's a lot of other dynamics going on, for instance. It's surging. There's it's surging. Yeah, the and the cans are actually interacting with the water. The garbage doesn't seem to have any interest at all in reversing. Certainly better. Yeah, but it's still not doing it. Whoa. Oh, there you go. Wow. <laughs> now it reversed. Now it goes back to you. Now you'll have to measure it again. <laughs> Who knew? You got chaos in the low end and also on the top end. Random, I guess. The analysis is a little more interesting, I'm sure. So there's a lot of weird interaction going on here with the with the with the uh, uh, the cans are ro are rocking. There's a downward force in that water flow that I think is a factor. All right, well, let's measure it. It won't take long. It won't take it first. The question is, can, it keep, can that funnel keep up? <laughs> oh, the funnel will never keep up. I don't think so. You will find out. That's tough. Where is that? 
Well, no, you just don't play that guy. Russian, you, can... you, you got it coming out the top, too. <laughs> That's all. I don't think it's good now. It's gonna happen. No, we can't even get part of it. No, can't measure that. It's oh. beyond our means at the moment. set up the experiment to make it work, to gather at least some information about what it is. We could probably it's doing it, isn't it? Yeah. It's even being chaotic here. And I don't think the wind is a big difference because the wind, even though the wind is blowing, it would have a hard time preferring one part of the wheel over another. So it's gonna balance. me to try it at a really super low. That's a lot lower. This, uh, this wheel I, I used, uh, it had been in the garage for years on end, unattended to, but I did lubricate it. I get, get the old WD 40 right? try to make it spin as smoothly as possible. It responded pretty well. So everything here tends to be, it's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, easy flowing kind of setup. Resistance. It's interesting that even with this tiny bit of water, well, it's rocking back and forth. Is it crossed over them? No. So it just slowed down. I think we just witnessed it. 